man who's in a recruiting violations investigation. Now, this happened despite a warning from the NCAA that misleading statements could cost his job. Channel 2's investigative reporter, Nicole Carr, says the recordings were never meant to be released. It was literally like a Make-A-Wish Foundation. That how many times in a Make-A-Wish Foundation someone wants to be around a sports team and their last time he was dying. Josh Pastner told NCAA investigators that his relationship with this man amounted to a cancer charity case. It was November 2017. The Georgia Tech men's basketball coach had self-reported player perk violations and said he was being blackmailed by Ron Bell. Bell claimed he was instructed to help recruit. So how am I not connected? Do you see where I'm going? Do you see why I have to come in? Because you can't tell the NCAA that, oh, just some random guy has nothing to do with anything. I, I don't think I'm a random guy. And he was mad he never got the job Pastner promised him. I never let him in the locker room. He was independently doing this on his own. This was totally him doing this. This is not my direction. I did not direct him in any way, shape, or form. None. Gosha Koji in concert. But two years later, through court records, photos, home videos, and more than 2,000 text messages between Pastner, his wife, Bell, and others, we know Ron Bell was in locker rooms and involved in recruiting talks. Pastner told a different story about his personal connection to Bell and Bell's connection to the program, despite a clear warning from the NCAA that it could cost him his job. Do you understand that if it is ever determined that you provided false or misleading information or withheld information in this interview, then this could constitute a violation of the NCAA principles of ethical conduct and could impact your politically related duties as a staff member of an NCAA institution? Understand. The NCAA cleared Pastner, but the recording, which was never meant to be released, is now evidence in a defamation lawsuit Pastner filed against Bell. Neither the NCAA nor Georgia Tech would address the recordings, but Tech references a new violations probe involving Bell, saying Coach Pastner is not a named individual in the NCAA's notice of allegations we received in the spring of 2019. Pastor's attorney slams Bell, saying whether Bell was ever in the locker room or around the team is irrelevant and trivial compared to the crimes that have been committed against Josh. And Pastor's attorney is referring to various claims tied to a sex assault countersuit that Bell's girlfriend filed in recent charges against the couple, uh, accusing them of witness tampering, charges Bell's attorney uh, this afternoon called baseless. Uh, the coach's attorney went on to bash our coverage of this case, and the defamation case is scheduled for trial in just a matter of weeks. Uh, you can read much more on our website right now and from our investigative partners at theajc.com and in Sunday's paper. We're live in Midtown, Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News. And we have been digging into this story for you for nearly two years now. In 2017, Bell told us that Passner knew he bought flights, meals, and clothes for two players. And in 18, Pastner filed a lawsuit against Bell and his girlfriend, saying that he was the victim of extortion. A month later, Bell and the girlfriend filed a countersuit accusing Pastner of sexual assault. Coach Pastner denies those claims. Back in showers of thunderstorms across parts.